I know this has been done a bunch of times, but let's do it one more time. These are the modules. These are 48 volt modules out of a Chevy Volt battery, electric car battery. And uh, I'm breaking down another one right now. I bought two of them. And I thought I'd stop at this point and just kind of go over real briefly the breakdown process. And uh, you just unstitch this top cover. This, this top cover's got bolts. It's laying, out, it's laying down over there. It's got a series of bolts that run all the way around it. And it just uh, lifts right. You got to take, um, oh, I don't have it here, but there's a, there's a, uh, your big main contactor plug up on top that's got four screws on it that you got to take out. And then that top flips right off. Then you go along and there's, there's a little bracket that sits along the edge of each one of these battery packs here. Sits right there. You take these nuts off. You get that bracket out of there. That's one of these guys. And then once you get that bracket off of there, then you can, then you can, uh, these, these will come up. These will lift right out. There, there's a little, there's a little stickiness underneath here that like a piece of tape or something that they got under there that you got to cut loose, but it's, it's easy. Uh, then I just take a sawzall. You can see the sawzall laying here. And I just saw off these water, there's water pipes that run between each one of these. The same thing back here. There's water pipes because there's coolant that flows through these batteries to keep them cool. And uh, that's all connected, you know, so you got to cut that off. Uh, and I found that, you know, Sawzall just makes, it, makes a fast job of, out of it. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to lift these. I, I, you got to cut these straps with a, uh, I just tin, just tin snips will cut these straps because I'm breaking these down into 48 volt modules. Like this is a 48 volt module, this is a 48, a 48, a 48, a 24, and then on the back side you got a 48, a 24, 48, and 48. So what you end up with is you end up with eight 48 volt modules because you take the two 24 volt, volt, volt modules, you take this one, and you take that one when you're done, and you marry them together. And here they are married together. This is from the battery pack that I broke down last night. And I'm going to have to put a, a, a wire going from here to here so that I will then have 48 volt potential between these outer two outer lugs, and that will match these other 48 volt packs. So um, once you get the um, once you get these lifted out then the next thing you do is you pull these rods out of here. These, you unscrew these. These are uh, 10 millimeter. Uh, I'll show you here. These rods come out. Throw them away. Uh, you're going to get some coolant leaking out of here. No big deal. Just let it go on the floor and wipe it up. It's not a lot. Maybe a cup or something is all you get. And uh, then these end plates come off. Then these will separate. And <coughs> like this has got a little plate in here. That's for the coolant on the other side. You just throw that away. That, that's not used. And uh, now what's going to happen is these modules... See, they're tied together on top with this plastic. Let's walk over to one that I've got situated here. Okay, the, the plastic ties together the top, but the bottom will be loose. The bottom will expand. So what you do is you get threaded rod. I've got, I've got, uh, where to go? I bought two foot long pieces of threaded rod from Home Depot. This is a quarter inch and you cut them in half so they're a foot long. You just slice them right in half and then that will 
be enough. One threaded rod will be enough for the module because you'll use one half of it on this side and the other half on the other side. So, and then you just, I double nutted it so that they would never tend to come loose. And then I just tighten down. This measures nine and like a sixteenth from here to here. Without that threaded rod in here, this will be spread out. So you put the threaded rod through. I double nut on that end so they can't back up, slide it through, and then I just tighten up this end until I measure the same di dimension here, and then I double nut it and lock it. And I do that on both sides, and that module is well maintained together. Um, there are some things I missed telling you when you get the covers off the top. Um, there's plastic covers that cover up on here. You got to pop them off. And there are little bus bars that you got to take off in between the modules. That'll be real obvious. You just run the nuts off, take the bus bars off. And I got a little pile of them over here. You know, I saved some in case I need them for something. But uh, that's it. That's all there really is to it. Oh, and then I just knocked this. I just knocked that, that nipple out of that plate so that it looks nice when I bolt it back on. You know. Like, you're, you're not going to have enough end metal end plates to cover the ends on all of them. You're only going to have a few metal end plates. But where I did use a metal end plate, I don't have that ugly, sawed-off nipple sticking out of there. And that's it. That's all there is to disassembling a leaf battery. And be careful you don't, you know, touch any metal up here because you got live voltage right there. So that's something i got to figure out yet when I put these into my configuration for my energy storage. Um... I'm going to have to make up a wood cover or something because that's a little dangerous just being exposed like that if uh, something was to fall on it. It's, it's a dead short and there's a lot of current. There's two kilowatt hours <laughs> in each one of these modules. It's a lot of current. So, all right, that's it. If you have any questions, feel free.